Hi, Milton Union Middle Schoolers. This is Mrs. Lang. I teach um, sixth and seventh grade language arts. Uh, sixth graders, um, some of you might have me for language arts this year. And seventh graders, some of you who had me for language arts last year are going to have me for language arts again this year. Sorry. A little bit about myself before I take you on a tour around our classroom. I have been teaching at Milton Union Schools for 20 years. Um, 17 of those years were in fourth grade. Um, so I used to teach with some of the fourth grade teachers who you had. Uh, I've been in middle school. This will be my fourth year teaching language arts and I absolutely love it. So sixth graders, if you are a little worried about coming to sixth grade, I believe you are gonna absolutely love middle school too. What else should you know about me? Hmm, well, I've been married to my husband for 35 years, uh, which might give you a little bit of an idea of how old I am, but I'm not gonna tell you. You can do the math yourself. I have two grown children. My son Ian is 34 and he lives in Columbus, Ohio, and he and his wife are expecting their first baby, which is going to make me a first time grandma and I'm super excited about it. So I'm probably gonna talk about it a lot. My daughter Maddie is 29 and she lives in Columbus, Ohio as well and has a boyfriend and she has a really good job that she loves. So basically my husband and I are home by ourselves without kids, but we do a lot of projects around our house and that keeps us busy. Some other things that I like to do for fun is I like to read, I like to camp, I like to hike, and I walk three miles a night about five days a week. And I do that with some people you might know, um, one of them being Mrs. Price from the elementary school, who is a good friend of mine. One really weird thing you might find out about me is that I am not a coffee person. So if you come in my room in the morning, you're probably gonna see a gigantic Diet Coke on my desk because that's the way I get my morning caffeine. Probably not a very good habit, but I can't break it. So that's a little bit about me, and you'll learn a lot more as the year goes on. But now I would like to take you on a little tour of our classroom. The first thing you see when you enter room 3101, Mrs. Lang's class for language arts, is a board of information. So I have a monthly calendar, the middle school daily schedule, in case you can't quite remember what time classes begin and end. Something new this year is our locker schedule um, that goes by your last name because we can't have everybody be at their lockers at the same time during social distancing. So we'll go over those the first day. There's also a classroom behavior policy a homework policy, and some just really general rules of how we should behave when we're in the classroom so everybody can learn without interruptions. At the front of the room are our smart board and two big boards. One of these boards is devoted to seventh grade information and one will be devoted to sixth grade information. And on these boards, you're going to find your learning targets for the day. This is where we'll, we'll be taking class notes. And also your homework is gonna be recorded on these front boards so that you'll know what you need to do for the evening. So this side would be for sixth and this side will be for seventh grade information. As we move further around the room, you'll see my teacher desk. We have nice big windows in this room and look out over the courtyard, which is a really nice view. 
On this wall of the classroom is our classroom library. So if you're unable to get to the library and you've run out of stuff to read, I've got plenty of books of different interest levels here that you can choose from and you may borrow from the classroom library. Some posters about the different genres and I hope that you will find a genre that you enjoy reading um, if you haven't done so yet. Inspirational posters. The back of the room has also, also has two big boards. This big board is gonna be devoted to reading information. So it will have all kinds of um, information on it about reading skills, reading strategies, the topics that we're focusing on for the week, um, and any kind of reading work we do as a class, we might take class notes back here. This board is going to be devoted to writing um, and have all kinds of information and in our class notes in regards to writing things like summaries, personal stories, how we can write about the things that we read and sound really, really smart about it. So that's gonna be the writing board. The middle board has information about your mindset and I am a big believer in mindset and learning. Um, and I know that you've heard these kinds of strategies before, but instead of saying, I can't do something, we're going to say phrases like, I just haven't learned how to do it yet. And I know you've heard those before and we're gonna really try to practice these positive um, mindset strategies in our classroom. I have two alternative seating comfy chairs in the room and there will be a schedule for the days that you are gonna be able to take a break from your hard desk chair and spend some time in the comfy chairs. As we move further along the, around the room, this section is gonna be devoted to supplies. So back here, you'll find our pencil sharpener. I am going to have oodles and oodles of pencils for you. So in case you uh, lose a pencil, you never have to worry. You're gonna have something to write with. Since we're not allowed to share pencils this year, you're just gonna have to get a brand new one. We have paper. I'll have different types of paper, colored paper, or copy paper for any types of little uh, assignments or projects that you need to work on. This will be the area of the room where you turn in your assignments. Um, a section to turn them in and a section to keep papers that are ready to be passed back after they've been graded. And lastly, we have the storage space for our class workbooks, um, which you'll more than likely keep here unless I send them home with you for the evening to do work. Oh, and the last thing I forgot about was our sign-up sheet for the restroom. We have to keep track of where you are at all times this year because of social distancing and contact tracing. So you will be signing out as you go to the restroom this year and sanitizing before and uh, before you enter the room and after and before you leave the room. So that's our classroom. I hope you have a really great rest of your summer and I cannot wait to see you on September 8th.